Well, from the reports you are getting in through from the so close sources of Manchester United and PSG, looks like United are really delaying the Ugate deal. How are they? It is confirmed that United or PSG are still waiting on Jordan Sancho because United haven't gone ahead to make a decision on whether they want to sell Jordan Sancho or not. And if at all they are to sell him, on what terms and conditions they are supposed to obviously let him leave the club of Manchester United. Welcome to the United Matters channel. How are you guys and where you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name and hope everything is really going on well and certified into the mix to see to it that everything really moves on to the right way. We are having Harry Maguire in the mix and also we are going to be having um, a story that is really a huge boost of Lindelof from the club of Manchester United. We thank God for the gift of life, the Muslims. Barak Laufikun. And may the living to God bless you more abundantly. We are here to obviously do some stuff with you and continue to subscribe because we want to hit 20,000 subscribers and hope you guys will obviously join the queue and join the cause for what we are really aiming to achieve onto this beautiful channel of ours. Now, we start it off with a guy called Sportzone. Sportzone has told us that Jordan Sancho and PSG have reached an agreement in principle on personal terms. Uh, Manchester United are demanding 60 million euros for the player. You get? Now, United has gone ahead to agree personal terms. Sorry, Sancho and PSG, they've gone ahead to agree personal terms. And they want to obviously see this deal done and dusted imminently. And for Man United, they are demanding 60 million euros for the player. And now, why is United doing this? Because PSG is also demanding um, 70 million euros for a player who never took part into their season competitively or really consistently, and that is Manuel Ugate. And for Manchester United, amidst Jordan, Jordan Sancho having an off until December, he went ahead to have an amazing six months against the side of Borussia Dortmund, and Sancho went ahead to obviously beat Borussia Dortmund down there in the Champions League, and he was one of those players that really performed well in the knockout stages of the Champions League for the side of Bayern Munich, so for the side of Borussia Dortmund, and they are like, now, if you are calling in for 70 of your player who never even played in that game that Sancho played in when he was playing against Dortmund, so he was playing for Dortmund against PSG, and Sancho schooled you, then, for us, we want 60 million euros. Can you please get us that money? So, United are like, we want 60 million euros. If at all you want 70 for Manuel Ugate, we want 60 million euros. And uh, that has going to hit really lead to a delay of a deal of Manuel Ugate because we all thought that it was going to be a swap for... It was going to be a swap for... It was going to be a swap deal that would have gone to be accepted. Sancho crossed to PSG and let this guy cross to the side of... Um, Manchester United, that is Manuel Ugate. And Fabrizio Romano, yesterday night, came out and told us that PSG are waiting for Manchester United to decide what they'll do with Jordan Sancho. Now, PSG, 100% interested in Jordan Sancho. They've gone ahead to agree personal terms. And United has gone ahead to be put into a fix. You know, and what's the fix? Make a decision now. You get? But as it stands for the club of Manchester United, all I believe is the stance of Jordan Sancho is known. <clears throat> because if you're Manchester United and you're told that on Anthony and Sancho, who do you keep? If I'm Rokan David, I keep Sancho and I sell Anthony. But the question is reversed back to you that who of the two can get you all has what we call value for money? Sancho still has more value for money than a player called um, than a player called Anthony. And with Sancho sold to PSG, even if you don't go in for Manuel Ugate, what you have to is you're having 60 million euros at your bench. And you can obviously look at other players that can come in through and really play in the midfield and uh, defense. You can use that 60 million euros to bring in three players, by the way. That is it. And that is the most important bit of it all that United are really looking at. So, United are delaying the Ugate deal in that way because PSG is waiting for Manchester United to make a decision on to Jordan Sancho. But 
I believe the decision is <clears throat> let us hail Jordan Sancho. I think that's the decision. And we are soon seeing Sancho being sold to PSG. And I think if I were Man United, I would do the needful, let Sancho go. And Sancho leaving obviously creates a lot of space for us to operate in as far as <clears throat> uh, a wage relief is really concerned. Sancho earns close to 300,000 pounds a week plus by this rumor that even earns 350,000 pounds a week. Um, and for that, if you offload a player like Sancho, who is earning £300,000 a week plus, that means you've going to hate, obviously, save a lot of money a year. Because 300 is like every month you are paying like 1.2, right, times 12. That is like £15 million a year. You are saving £15 million a year in wages that can help you even sign a player because you've gonna hit obviously relieve that and as you know united are really looking to move on players that are really on huge wages like you saw uh the run the reason as to why united went ahead not to renew his contract at manchester united was that the run couldn't accept a pay cut i don't know why and even when would have gone ahead to get a pay cut united were like he's not the right guy to obviously stand there because he's not readily available as a player so Veran left because he earned he earned three hundred and thirty thousand pounds a week. Anton Martial left; he was earning two hundred and fifty thousand pounds a week. Then, when you look at other players that United are really wanting to move on, they are players that are really earning hugely. Casemiro, three hundred and fifty thousand pounds a week. Sancho, <clears throat> three hundred thousand pounds a week plus. So, those are the players that they want to move on. That is it. Those are the players that they want to move on in the due course of really doing everything that they're doing right about now. So that is Jordan Sancho for you. But United is the is the reason as to why the deal of Manuel Ugarte is being delayed. That is it. Because they haven't gone ahead to make a huge decision on to whether they are gonna really do what for Sancho. But if a team has gone ahead obviously set a set a selling price of 60 million euros that means they've gonna have to come up to a resolution of really selling the player and the delay i think the delay in this deal is that do we need cash or we need a swap i think that is it and i think they're really doing the calculations the mathematics in there for you and the financial decision is really going to be taken because psg are really interested in jordan sancho and to show you that jordan sancho is not part of the plan of Manchester united eric ten Hag played him off the bench when you're playing against Arsenal and in his first team, he never got a position for him. And if at all he's not getting to the team, when Ganacho is not yet back, uh, Kobe Main is not yet back, then you anticipate that he's not going to be playing anywhere at the, for the club of Manchester United and he's going to be a bench player, something that Sancho doesn't want. And at PSG, he's really going to be a starter and that's why he's like, can you please let me go to PSG? That is it. So, we wait to see a big week happening and see how things are really going to be happening. But Sancho to PSG, look upon it. PSG are looking to close into deals. One of uh, Jordan Sancho and one of Yao Felix. Remember, for Yao Felix, sorry, for Yao Neves, they've going to have to agree a deal with Benfica. They're going to be paying Benfica 70 million euros plus a player as a make weight in the names of Renato Sanchez. So, that deal is really going to be done and dusted by the side of PSG. And after that deal, they want to get the deal of Jordan Sancho done and dusted because they believe he's the best player to play off the left attacking side of the midfield for the team. So, United are the ones delaying their Manuel Ugarte deal because, for me, I might see it as a simple decision, but it might be a hard decision because... We have money to pay to Borussia Dortmund. Remember, the deal is not yet, obviously, 100% facilitated. And they are looking at, we do a swap and we keep paying the money or we get him the money, pay half of that and really make a bid to get him the player of the caliber of Manuel Ugarte because they can get in 60 million euros from the side of, um, from the side of PSG. And then that is like 53 million pounds then they check their balance of Sancho because I believe United, having gone ahead to agree deal of 73 million pounds, they gave Sancho a deal of like, is it five years? You know, if it's a deal of five years, then that deal is really spread. Um, the payments 
are spread into a way that they're supposed to be paying close to 13 million pounds a year. And Sanchez has been here for 2022, 2023, 2024. Those are three seasons, meaning that we've only paid um, like 40 million pounds. There is a balance of like 33. And United might be like, why don't we sell Jordan Sancho to PSG after selling him to after selling him to PSG? Let's get in, uh, let's get off the money and clear off the debt that we are having with um, the side of uh, Borussia Dortmund, and let's use the balance to bid it to, to make it to make a bid to the side called uh, PSG to get in the player. So they are still contemplating onto that, but I believe. A good decision is really going to be made but i hope the easiest would have gone here to be give me sancho i give you manuel ugate and maybe united might be like ugate is not worth even 60 million euros <laughs> that is it so let's wait and see how that happens and how united will obviously hasten the deal of manuel ugate but there are some big deals that are going to be happening this time for the club of manchester united we've been told by team talk that Barcelona could move for Jordan Sancho if they are unable to sign Nico Williams this summer. Now, there have been links linking this guy to the team of Barcelona, right? We all know that. And uh, you have to look at it and really ask yourself, you know, that what makes sense? What really makes sense? If they are taking Manuel Ugat, if they're taking Nico Williams as their priority signing, and he goes for like 55 million euros as the buyout clause, then how do they go in for a player whose price tag is um, whose price tag is um, 60 million euros? You get? I think. If they miss out on uh, Nico Williams, it will be a decision made by Nico Williams that I don't want to play. I don't want to play at Barcelona. Maybe he's looking for a better decision or better team next time round. And maybe him being a born and bred player of Bilbao, he would love to obviously sit into his team really makes a lot of money. After shining at the Euros, he might be like, let me start Bilbao and kick the ball here for one more season such that next summer, Bilbao can obviously get me a better deal and obviously... And obviously get them like 100 million euros because if this boy stays at Bilbao and keeps the pace, I tell you, he can be sold for 70 to 100 million euros. That is it. So that is it about uh, Sancho and Barcelona. I think Barcelona really looking in for 43 million pounds. How would they go in for 53, right? That is really a very huge decision. But the, Nico Williams has gone ahead to agree personal terms with Barcelona and it's now up to Barcelona to look for the money to get this deal done. That's meaning that the money that can buy Jordan Sancho is more than the money that can buy Nico Williams. So it will be it will be diabolical and insane for Barcelona to say, all right, we don't have the money to buy Nico Williams, but we have the money to buy Jordan Sancho. You understand? Um, but I really understand that these might be stories put out by the agent, obviously, Put PSG on pressure to obviously dance on the teams of Manchester United and Manchester might also be like you don't want to get a 60 million euros but they, there is another team that wants to sign the player so we know all those gimmicks that are being played and uh, we wait to see how things pan out now remember for United to set to really get in another player we are supposed to sell to buy that's why I sort of it that yesterday I brought you a story of Aaron Wan Bissaka a player that needs obviously agree personal terms with West Ham before United gets Mazurui on. So after after Bisaka goes, we are gonna get in Mazurui. After um, maybe Sancho goes, we'll get in Manuel Ugate and Matias Delit. You understand? So that is the plan. And the other the other player that is up for departure is Linderov. And we've been told by um Malaysians that Victor Linderov is close to leaving Man United. That's what we've been told by the Malaysians. And he's, he's obviously wanted by, uh, is it Galatasaray or Fanabachi? One of those two teams really want to sign the player. And in the Duco, I think it's a Fanabachi that want to sign him. Jose Mourinho wants to reunite with his former player at Manchester United that he signed from Benfica. So, but <clears throat> the worry has been. He has not kicked a ball for Manchester United ever since he came in through for the preseason. He missed out on the game of Rosenberg. 
he missed out on the game of um, after Rosenberg we played Rangers and even playing Arsenal he never even made it to the bench but he traveled to the US but there is an exit boost of Linderov that has gone ahead obviously coming through and he has taken part into the training yesterday he was part of the team that trained in that trained that trained with Manchester United in the US and obviously he was at the UCLA on training center at hand and that is Victor Lindero for you good to see him back because when you see him on the pitch then that accelerates his departure more and more and more and more the more you see him off the pitch the more you see him not onto the pitch then that will create loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of worries and doubts about what he is up for in as far as moving on is really concerned it's very hard to move on an injury prone an injury player and that's why teams that we are playing in the euros we are like or oh, teams that wanted to send players in the euros we are like let that let your team first get knocked out or let the euros first get done then we'll go up for you because what if we sign you and you obviously get a very bad injury that might keep you off the game of football for a very long period of time you understand so that is all about uh, Linderov. His exit boost has gone ahead to be confirmed and uh, Fanabachi needs him and usually can bag themselves in close to 15 million euros. And I believe you get 15 million euros, then you can obviously find means of really getting in other players into the mix for the club of Manchester United. Because right now, we need to act quick in moving on players to get on other players and really come to play with the team of Manchester United and integrate in better and better and better. And for the central defenders, we really need one immediately because we don't know how long Lenny Yoro is really gonna see himself out of action. And I think towards the press towards sorry, towards the game of Rio Betis, Eric Ten Hag will come out with a clear assessment on what the injury of Lenny Yoro is like because we can't really live like that when we don't know what kind of player what kind of play is really going to come up and really do the needful for that position of Lenny Yori Fatoli is out. Meaning that we should focus on getting in a central defending midfielder immediately. Because if they don't really get us done and dusted, if we don't get them early, then we might face it rough and we might go in for a late window signing. That might obviously be very costly and might not really give us the results that we really need as a club of Manchester United. So after that, Let's go to another defender known as Harry Maguire. Um, Harry Maguire is saying it's exciting times for everyone involved with the club and is definitely going in the right direction again as a player and someone who cares about the club. It's really good to see. So he was like hailing the, the so far work done by the... Um, he was hailing the so far work done by the by the Ineos guys because they've gone ahead to obviously do things that United has always gone ahead to lack and we've on several occasions come up and really asked you people to come up and obviously put in the shift and really ask such questions but finally and finally <clears throat> we've gone ahead to obviously get answers and Ineos has been the pa has been the perfect answer that we've always gone ahead to wait for because there is even another person that they are recruiting this week to obviously add him on the recruitment team for the club of Manchester United. It shows you how big this is really going to be for the club of Manchester United and how they are not leaving no stone unturned into what they are doing in here for you. So guys, I call upon for your reactions into the comment section below about United delaying Manuel Ugate deal. You get? And the reason is... is they have not really gone ahead to obviously decide on Jordan Sancho. And the side of Man United, the side of PSG is waiting on to on to Manchester United as they've gone ahead to agree personal terms with Jordan Sancho. And Harry Maguire has gone ahead to give Ineos their flowers because they've gone ahead to come in through and they've gone ahead to obviously add that touch of exp expertise to the club of Manchester United. Thank you guys for watching through. I sign out for now. See you later and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. But your reactions are hugely welcome into the comment section. And don't forget obviously tell us what 
you think it's gonna be like to keep it in here at the side of Manchester United. So let's see close to very many people smash like button and continue to subscribe because you want to hit 20,000 subscribers. First video of the day, more is coming and guys get ready because more guest is really showing up and we are not gonna really stop you from really giving you the best that you deserve. We out.